Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you all. Today, I have a question for you. What do you do when someone does something really nice for you? You say words to them. What are those words? Thank you. Thank you. But if what they did for you is like really, really nice, words aren't enough. So maybe you send a thank you card or maybe you reciprocate, um, you return the favor or you give back. And I heard it mentioned or called thanks living. So when you give back to others, like they've given to you, it's called thanks living. What has God done for you? More than we can even name in this time that we have together. So how do we thank God? We praise him. We say our prayers. We say, thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, God, for all these blessings in our life. But it's not enough. So do we send a thank you card to God? Maybe. Um, but thanks living. That's how we can tell God thank you for all he has given for us. And our scripture lesson today, we get instructions on how to do this. God has fed us. He's given us shelter. He's given us love. He's given us acceptance. And so we can give him thanks by passing this on to others. When you see someone sitting alone at lunch and you join them, that's thanks living. When you see someone who is sad and in need of a prayer, when you offer to pray with them, that's thanks living. When someone doesn't have enough food to eat and you donate to your local food bank or put food in the bins or put food in that person's hands, that's thanks living. When you offer to help with yard work with somebody who's not feeling well or sick or offer to go out and get groceries for someone who can't leave the house, that's thanks living. When you send a card to cheer somebody up, that's Thanks living. And when you welcome somebody into your circle of love who is different than you, that's thanks living. So this week, this week of Thanksgiving, I hope that you guys have wonderful celebrations at home and that you remember thanks living. It's what God wants. Now today I am here in the chapel and one of my favorite prayers resides here in the chapel. So that's how I wanna to end today with this prayer. So this is the prayer I'd like to end with today. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a safe Thanksgiving, and I will look forward to seeing you here or in person or somewhere next Sunday. Bye guys.